Hey everyone, it's Lindsay and Mom here. We are here to share our tutorial on how to finish our newest pattern, um, the Nine Patch series, into a pillow. So a little bit about the series, there will be 12 um, patterns, one for each month, and they will be released in sets of three every quarter. So this is January, and January, February, and March are out now. Um, the one we're going to show you is part of the next release, so you get a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, so let's get started. So you will need your cross stitch. Uh, we stitched this on 25 count white Lugana, two threads over two. And you need a fabric that you want that's coordinating with your cross stitch. We picked this fun aqua and we've cut two inch strips. So we've cut two long strips and two short strips, um, depending on how big you want your pillow. So for our pillows, we're doing them all the same to keep it simple. And I will write the measurements down um, so in the description so you can see the exact measurements. So first of all, um, mom is gonna be the one demonstrating how to do this. We are going to take our cross stitch and we want to trim. She's going to mark it with her pen to show you. We're going to go three quarters of an inch from your outermost stitch. And you're going to mark that all the way around. This just gives you a nice guideline um, of where you're going to cut. Obviously, if you just want to cut straight and not do this step, you can just cut. So we did three quarters of an inch because it gave us a nice, if you look at the example here, it gave us a nice little border. If you want your cross stitch to be really close to the border, you could go in further. It's really just a personal preference. Okay, so now mom is trimming on the lines that she marked. So your piece, if you do it on 25 count, it ends up measuring about three and an eighth inch square, or wait, I, no. The cross stitch finishes at three and an eighth, mm -hmm. and then with the border, what are we measuring, Mom? Yeah. Um, about, about four and a half. It's okay, like the four so and roughly half inch square. four and a half. Yeah, it's a four and a half inch square. So now we need to sew our short strips on the left and right side. And so what you're gonna do oh. is, sorry, you're gonna line up right sides together with your stitch, right side of fabric to right side of your stitch. And so down here. A quarter inch seam allowance on both sides. So yeah. she's gonna do that and we'll be back with the All next right, step. So she has sewn her quarter inch seam allowance. So she's gonna give it a press. And now she's going to add her longer strips. And you can see she has a little bit of a tail, and that's fine. Um, and you're going to trim it off later. So again, line it up a quarter, in, or line it up right sides together along your side on each side, and so a quarter inch seam. She has her quarter inch seam on each side, so now she is going to... Give the project a nice press. I guess that's backwards. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, now. so now, time to add the pom-pom trim. What we decided is to measure one and a quarter inch away from your seam allowance. All the way around. And this just gives a nice guideline of where to do your pom-pom. Okay, so we're gonna step over to the sewing machine and mom is going to show us how to add the pom-pom. Okay, so 
what I do is I just kind of start in the middle and I use that line just to give me somewhat of a guide. Um, your pom-poms are going to go face in towards your project. And then I just put my needle down in and try to stay on that that little thing and in my last tutorial I kind of showed you like your corners are going to be round because it's just easier to make them round on this so you're not going to follow that and you're just going to go slow kind of inch around and then that So she's going to go all the way around. And then I just kind of curve it. And like I said, I just kind of inch around. There we go. Take your time going around. Um, it does take a little bit of practice. Yes. Some if you don't want to add trim, you can skip this step. Yeah. The, it's just so fun to use the different trims and stuff and different ways to put the fabric on. It just really personalizes the project you're doing. Gives it that extra cuteness. <laughs> yes. And I know that you can pick up these little pom poms, like um, I've seen them on the smaller spools, like at Hobby Lobby. Um, and some are a little flatter pom poms than others. These have got more of a little uh, raise to them. So sometimes they're a little bit harder, but the little flatter ones sometimes are a little bit easier. You could also do this with Rick Rack. Yes. So how are you ending? So how I'm gonna end is I've got my end piece right here. I'm I'm just gonna trim off whatever axe those little scissors. There. And then um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over just like a quarter inch or so over the top of the, the beginning of it. And I'm just gonna go over it and then I'm just gonna back stitch and then. Okay, so here is the project. So now we need to add the backing. Um, we have just a scrap piece of fabric. You're gonna place it right sides together. And then. I'm just gonna follow right on my i'm going to right sides together and so what gives me a line to follow is that first line that i put the pom-poms on and i do exactly on top and then so i'll do that and then i'll come back all right so mom has sewn all the way around now she's going to trim about a quarter inch around her project um away from the seam allowance and this just kind of gets rid of the bulk. Okay, and then I take my scissors and I just... So she's going to kind of round those edges. All right, so she did sew all the way around. Yep. So you don't leave an opening. What you do is turn it around for, um, on the back side and, and pinch it. Pinch it so you're just grabbing the back, not the front, and do a little opening. Um, be really careful so you don't clip your cross stitch. And that's how you turn your pillow right side out so um, we just fill our pillows with a polyfill you can get at 
any craft store really. Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. And you can fill it as full as you want. Um, some people like theirs super full. This one, the, this one's pretty full. I like how it's really nice and puffy. So mom likes to kind of break apart the polyfill. This will give it um, a smoother look when you put it inside. Make sure to get inside those little corners. One thing I love about these, the corners look way nicer because they're not sharp points. It's like a better, sleeker finish, in my opinion. So let's see. So here it is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how adorable. So this pattern will be in our next release. So this is just like a little sneak peek for you guys. Um, to finish the back, you can whip stitch this shut, or what we like to do is get a piece of um, felt or wool and make a cute little patch, add a button, kind of make it a cute little, make the back as cute as the front. So um, for the sizes and dimensions, I'm going to list them in the description so you guys can easily um, reference that. And... Like I said, there will be 12 different nine patches in the series. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, let us know below. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can get the most up-to-date tutorials and floss tubes and quilt tubes. We'll talk to you later.